Louisville's men's basketball coach Rick Pitino and athletic director Tom Jurich have been placed on administrative leave because of a scandal that has shook college basketball. Pitino and Jurich are being accused of fraud and corruption because they supposedly funneled money to Brian Bowen, a five-star recruit ranked 14th who allegedly got 100000 after signing with Louisville. For the last three years, the FBI have been investigating the NCAA through wiretaps, surveillance videos, and undercover agents, and now the find findings are finally ma have finally made their way to the light. On July 27th, an undercover FBI agent held a meeting with two Adidas employees who were having trouble transferring the money to Bowen's family. And then again, he also committed in June, so the, it's been a month since they haven't gotten the money. And the agent discussed a way to funnel the money through Bowen's AAU program, baiting the employees to commit fraud. One of the employees during the meeting said that Patino is the best and most efficient person to contact if a recruit needs money. The FBI has had wiretaps on Patino's phones dating back to June. However, most of it is said on the call. Most of what is said on the calls is pure speculation because some of them were not even tapped. Patino has said and denied all these accusations because he is clearly outnumbered. And this isn't the first time the Louisville coach has been caught in a scandal. In 2010, a woman tried extorting him for gifts and money for something that had happened back in 20, back in 2003. She's in jail now. And these accusations and fraudulent claims don't start and end with Patino. Everyone knows that this type of activity has been happening in the NCAA men's basketball for decades and just on Tuesday, four assistant coaches around the NCAA were arrested for bribery and influencing athletes to come to their schools. It's about time. It's about time that these college coaches and just the NCAA in general was uh, there's like someone did something about it. I see a lot of coaches their their fates can end like Rick Pitino's because their their programs have all all have so much money they don't know what to do with it. They're obviously gonna try to bait and try to help other athletes come their their star athletes to come to their colleges. Oh, and I honestly I'm on the player side on this, the athlete side, because. Yeah. The NCAA makes so much money off these athletes every year, and the players get, don't get a dime. Like, uh, here's a here's a, here's a um, good example. Lonzo Ball's jersey sold so much last year, he didn't get one dime from one dime from any of it. Yeah, throw it back to Chris Webber when he was walking uh, down the street, saw his own jersey in the store, and he didn't even have enough money in his pocket to be able to afford his own jersey. And then, yeah, that that's when he decided to declare for the NBA draft. Yeah, he said, I'm not playing college anymore, I need yeah. the money, he decides yeah. to go to the NBA. But the thing I see, see here is this has been happening for so long. It's basically an NCAA culture. So let's say all these players, they play AAU together. They know each other. Older guys know the younger guys. So when they're you know meeting around, the older guys will tell the younger guys maybe they took bribes, they took this. So the younger guys see that. They're like, if they're doing it, why can't we do it? So that kind of just sets the culture and makes them uh, think that it's okay to do this. So it just keeps repeating year after year after year. Yeah. So there's finally something being done about it. And now Brian Bowen might not even be able to play next year. So that's another problem. Yeah, so this is not only affecting the coaches at this point. A lot of the players might miss the entire season if this investigation keeps going on and they uh, hey, find and it, more proof on other players. It gets worse and worse. Worse yeah. and worse. It might even get to the point where NCAA turns into the U Sports from Canada and they start recruiting athletes from Canada. Yeah, U Sports is the um, yeah, it's the Canadian athletes mostly, so yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's the University League in Canada. So basically, is this the end of March Madness? Is uh, this the end of that amazing tournament everyone watches at the end of the year? And basically everyone's just gonna be in jail next year or playing down in China because they can't play in the NCAA. And with that, tell us your thoughts of how this video went, how what you think are, are Rick Patino's options. Yeah, at this give point. us give us a like if you guys hate the NCAA and think it's a, just a huge scam and subscribe to our channel because why not? Thank you.